Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over the four hang gliders in Dinkum and see which one's the best. Now before we get into it, we got to understand what a hang glider is. Hang gliders are a method of transportation within Dinkum and I believe they are the best method of transportation within Dinkum. The only downside is you can't carry anything on the back like in trucks or motorcycles, but you are very nimble and very quick in basically every scenario. Against this though, they are very difficult to get and to require certain methods. Now by pretty hard to get, I mean very hard to get from the beginning of the game. You need to either go in the deep mines to find a normal hang glider, or you need to get a ridiculous amount of tickets to get a red hang glider from Jimmy, or you can go to the undergroves and find the leaf hang glider, which takes a long time, or you can do the longest of the methods, like me, and get the bat hang glider, which takes 20 bat wings, I believe. I do have a video on that on my channel. And those take a long time to get, and then you have to find a bat altar and sacrifice the bat wings. Anyways, enough of all that, let's get on to the tests. Now what I mean by tests is we're going to be testing these hang gliders on two different elements. One will be the distance they can travel, and two will be the time they can hang in the air. Starting with the hang glider. For the distance test, we are just going to run off of this greenhouse with the hang glider extended and see how far we can go. Well, if the fence wasn't here, we'd probably stop right about here. So, there is the normal hang glider. Next up is the red glider. <laughs> the red glider is believed to be better than the yellow glider. So let's see uh, if that's true. Well, it would have stopped here again. And I know the fences make the test a bit like sucky <laughs> kind of um but it's basically the same distance it doesn't really change anything the fact that we're running off of a surface makes it y you will see what i mean onto the leaf glider now the leaf glider tends to be kind of annoying sometimes because it has all these particles but uh let's see how far it goes Lands about here. Okay. I'm gonna mark that. Onto the back glider. Oh yeah! And this is a personal favorite of mine. It's the one I use the most. And it's the one that took the longest to get. So I hope this one wins. We'll find out. Damn, they both touched down in the same spot. I guess they really are equal. That's good. Wow. Now for this test, I'm just going to hold up the hang glider and jump. And then hold it down and see how long we can stay in the air. Starting with the normal hang glider. Next, the red hang glider. Next, the leaf glider. And now the back glider. Now turning it doesn't affect the fall time because 
Obviously, I'm not moving. It appears that the yellow glider and the red glider are equal in stats, as well as the back glider and leaf glider are equal in stats. Uh, I don't know exact like velocity and you know speed and how you, you, all those types of behind the scenes statistics, but due to these tests, we can confirm that they are basically the same in their relative class. And this was with no speed boosts. If you have a speed boost from coffee, it does speed up your glider. But other than that, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.